Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I want to take a look at how I organize my tasks and calendar and to-do lists and stuff like that. I've done videos like this in the past where I talk about my use of Trello. I talk about how I've used uh, Todoist and other apps uh, in the past. Uh, I've tried uh, to spend some time using uh, paper and pencil and journals and, and bullet journaling and, and a lot of that has failed. Um, mainly because I need a to-do list or a task or a planning system um, that is lightweight, that follows me around. Uh, I need something that is on all of my devices. Um, Moleskin books don't work for me because I don't carry them around all the time. Uh, I need, it, you know, my cell phone is with me at all times. Um, I am half of the day I'm at a laptop or a computer so I need something that follows me around so I want to talk about the tools that I use um, and before I begin I want to preface this with um, this quote by Bill Gates um, that this sort of idea this quote there are different versions of this uh, Peter Drucker has a similar one um, you know and and the, the idea around it is for me, my mindset, my, my philosophy as I think about to-do lists and think about organizing my time, um, you know, there are a lot of different ways to learn how to say no. There's a lot of different ways to think about like a 20% a rule or, or, you know, how, how best to, to use our energy. But for me, it's all about trying not to do too much in one day. Um, I think my challenge is that I try to do too much in one day and when I don't get it done, I get frustrated. So I really try to, to keep as a mindset and I, and I save this quote several places in my materials, but basically it's, it's focusing on overestimating what you can do in a day and, and underestimating what you can get done in, in five to 10 years or a lifetime. And it's that focus that not everything has to be done today, that it's okay to say, well, this won't be done today, it'll be done tomorrow. But if I get, you know, if I get this chunk or this project done today, then that opens up things for tomorrow. Um, there, there are other variants of this quote. Tony Robbins talks about decades or generations. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I, you know, for me, identifying here's what I'd like to be doing or here's where I'd like to be in five, ten years, that is a, is a, is a challenge in and of itself. And so for me, it's helpful to think about, okay, well, what are the small things that I can do today to help me get to that point? So that that is a struggle that I have. Um, and it's something that I'm perpetually working on. Um, but it's a good way to sort of like organize my thinking as I as I move forward. So uh, a couple different things. What I want to do is uh, share my current organizational system and my structure. And this is relatively new. Um, so there's a couple different things. First of all, my main area where I organize things is through Google Calendar. Um, and this is nothing new. This is not revolutionary at, at all. Um, but Google Calendar is basically where I indicate things that I have to physically show up for. Okay. So, I mean, you'll see that I have classes listed on here. Or if I move up a week, um, you'll see that you know, I, I have classes, but I also have a dentist appointment coming up. I have to go volunteer at my son's school. I have video conferences. So these are things I have to show up for. And some of these are virtual show up. So, um, you know, nevertheless, I need to be at a certain place at a certain time. And this is all in calendar. The, the reason why I like this is calendar automatically syncs to my devices it automatically syncs to uh you know my i have an android phone so my wallpaper automatically shows me uh when i need to show up for stuff and it gives me a, a time uh you know that i have to be ready also because calendar is linked to maps and location if i have a place i need to be calendar knows where i am because of my phone and it knows where i need to be so it sort of says like okay you, you need to leave now uh, because of traffic and other stuff. So that's very important for me. So the first tool that I use is calendar. Um, my wife has access to my calendar. Um, I'm in the habit of, I'm in the process of sharing my calendar out with my Outlook calendar for work um, so that colleagues can see where I am and they can organize stuff. But 
calendar is the primary place and calendar is things that I need to show up for. It's physically I need to be there or virtually be there, but I need to be in a certain time and space, you know, for some sort of meeting or whatever the case may be. So I got to physically show up for stuff. Um, the, the next thing that I use is tasks. Um, and I've used a lot of different task tools out there. This is Google tasks. The, uh, there was a recent update for tasks. So Android versions and iOS versions look really, really good. The web version of tasks looks horrible. This is very minimalistic. It looks lousy. Um, but the, the mobile versions are much better. So that's helpful for me. But there's another reason why I use tasks. I very rarely use this version of just the um, tasks canvas. So you can see the URL is mail.google.com uh, slash tasks slash canvas. Um, and I get there by basically searching for, um, so if I search for Google tasks, then one of the first places it's going to bring me is this tasks.mail. You can see all the other apps there. So if I go to that first one, this is the main page that it brings me to. Um, and like I said, the interface is lousy. Um, but here's, here's one of the reasons why I like it. So I organize tasks so that I have general tasks. Um, and you can call this anything, but this is like my daily to do list. Um, I think that your daily to do list should be, at least for me, it's, a maximum of three things that you want to do that day. Keep in mind that a lot of my day is spent in and out of classes or showing up for meetings. So there's stuff that I'm sort of getting ready for meetings or preparing for other spaces or, or different projects I have to work on. But the daily tasks is basically the things I want to do today. So you can see today I want to work on a blog post. I still have to do that. I'm working on a manuscript with some colleagues. I want to spend more time working on that. Um, and then adding materials for my classes to Google Classroom. So these are things that after this, I will sort of check off the box and, and get rid of. I also have in tasks, um, I will save things that I need to do that, that impacts my, my service. Um, so I have a, a peer review coming up that I saved it through Gmail, and I'm going to show that in a second. I also have a, a sort of list for research. And so what I like is, so this is a book that I'm working on. I can add a new task and I can basically say, um, finish chapter one, if I could type correctly. So I could say finish chapter one and I can take this and move it under the book and then sort of to the, to the right of the book. Uh, there we go. So you can see the, the interface here for this version of tasks, like I said before, is lousy. But now I can have multiple things. So I can add a new task and I can call this one, um, you know, I could say this is my digital MOOC that, I, that I've been working on. And I can add a new task and I'd say uh, finish and post, I can't spell finish today, finish and post uh, module one. And once again, I can move this over so I can have under research, I can have different projects that I want to work on. The last area that I have, so I have, I have research, I have service, I have tasks. Um, sometimes I'll have a teaching area, but I feel like it's better just to handle those things um, as they come up in the class and hopefully it doesn't surprise you. Under personal, I, I like to use the personal section as sort of projects I want to work on or blog posts I'm thinking about. Um, but once again, usually my tasks involve things being completed um, with due dates. So it's not ideas for stuff. So if I have a, a personal thing I need to take care of, if I want to buy something for the house or I need to pick something up, I'll give myself a task and I'll give myself a reminder for it. Um, but usually my tasks are assignments with due dates. Um, and I, the other piece of tasks that's important is that I review it at the end of every day. Um, so once again, general tasks, this is my daily list. And then if I have things for a certain area that's off in the future, I'll put those there. And the other thing that's nice is that I can slide things over. So I could say, okay, this piece here, you know, I want to move over to a different section. And it's not working on this because like I said, this interface is lousy. So this is tasks. So I have calendar, things I need to physically show up for, 
tasks, things I need to do that has a, a specific due date. And the, the last real tool that I use as part of this is Keep. Um, and so what you'll notice with Keep is that, and I've done lots of videos over the, over the past uh, couple months talking about Keep, but the, the reason why I love Keep is it's digital post-it notes for me. Um, I use Keep predominantly on my mobile device, so you can see that I'll pull out my mobile device, my cell phone when I'm running, and I'll stop and take an audio note. So I'll basically stop and I'll basically record. So that apparently I was running, I was listening to a podcast, I got an idea, and I wanted to save it. Um, and so I basically have been using Keep as sort of digital post-it notes, things I want to take care of and, and think about later. Um, usually it's a one-off. I'll think of something, you know, a, a list of things I want to buy, um, save it. But then what I will frequently do is I'll have things that make me think and I want to write about them later. And what I have is a... Um, I call it a, a, in my labels, it's a tickler label, but basically it's something that it interests me and at a later date I want to write about it. So one day I was sitting there and I was watching my son in class and, and working on, on uh, his, he was reading and recording videos and I said, you know what, I really want to do a blog post about that. And so I took a quick note in Keep and I saved it um, and it's something that at some point, Every once in a while, if I feel like I'm not not having ideas about things I want to do, I go into that pot, that folder, and I think about things that I really want to to, to write about. Um, so, as a as an example, this is a post uh, I was reading a, a a book lately, and they talked about this in terms of online discourse. And so, I can take this and I can move this over to my tickler file, and now archive it it gets it out of my general inbox I have a lot of notes in here now and I need to go through and clean house um, but it gets it out of my inbox and it moves it over to this space so that at some point I can go and see what I wanted to do with it okay so we've got calendar we've got keep we've got tasks but here's the important part so I'm in Google in Gmail now and this is open on my desktop all the time for better or worse so it's always there for me to, to review here's what has happened recently so if i go in to gmail into the settings i can try the new gmail so what they did is they updated the look and the feel and i'm sure there's some stuff on the back end that's making it run much more smoothly but here's one of the reasons why all of this works for me now um, so if I'm here in Gmail, I have my regular mailbox, you know, I could see all my social feeds. I've got pretty much everything under the sun in here. But one of the nice things that they've added, I think it's nice, is they have these little buttons over here. Okay, so you can add, if you click this button, I can uh, add other things. So I can add in... Um, you know, uh, mind mapping software, I can add Trello, Asana, so there's a lot of different pieces I can add over here. And I've tried this in the past with my use of Trello, it didn't work as nicely. Um, I try to use this as a way to organize um, using Asana, it didn't really work as well as I'd like, Todoist, it didn't work as much as I'd like it to. Um, but the cool thing is when I open this up, I can have one page open and I can open up my calendar. So I can be working on stuff and have my calendar open so I can see, okay, today is pretty cool, but as people want to book stuff, tomorrow I have a meeting and then later in the day I have, uh, you know, another meeting that I have to pay attention to. What's also nice is the tasks that I was talking about, uh, the lousy interface that you had before. It's really nice here. It really works well. This basically is what the web, the, the mobile version looks like. So for me, tasks works well. And so here's my organization. I can say, okay, I can be working on stuff. And then at the same time, I can have my tasks open here. So I can see, oh, we got to get to this. I don't have time to work on other stuff. I can also click down to my service. I can click down to uh, research stuff. And as I'm emailing colleagues, I can say, oh, yeah, you're right. I have to take care of this. You know, let me add a task 
So the uh, the journal edits that I'm working on. So if I look at these JLT journal edits, if I could spell, I can add that in, and then I can say um, send to April. So I can add that in, and I can move it up underneath of. I'm supposed to be able to move it underneath of. Doesn't want to work for me today underneath of the other one okay so I can add tasks in for myself in my different areas that I had before and what's also nice here is let's say I have um, an assignment that comes in so I showed you the service piece so if I look at this peer review piece So when an email comes in for something I need to deal with, um, I can add it to a calendar. So if somebody wants to schedule a meeting, I can click over, add it to my calendar. Um, if I have an idea about a note or something I want to add here and keep, I can add it very quickly and it shows all of my stuff, all of my notes that are in my inbox for Google Keep. That's why it's important for me to keep it organized and archive stuff. But then also I can add tasks. So here is you know, an invite to review for a journal that I got in. Okay. And what I can do is I can add this to tasks. I can add it to my calendar by creating an event. Um, that's pretty much the two ways that I would do it. So because this is not something I need to physically show up for, it doesn't go in calendar. Okay. But it has a due date. Um, some, you know, a certain time that I have to have this done by. So what I'll typically do is add it to tasks, which I have already. Um, and it will save for me uh, the email so I can click through as I'm looking through my tasks later on. I can say, well, what did I sign up for? Um, but then the other nice thing is that I have it. It is attached to a calendar uh, notification. So right now you'll notice that it says I need it done by October 8th. I went into this and I basically added a date to remind me a little bit earlier. Okay, so that is in my tasks now. So the way that I've been organizing myself lately is, one, Google Calendar. It's on my browser. It's in Chrome all the time. I have it on my mobile device. Um, and it's very easy to get to if I'm in Gmail. So it's very easy to, you know, start up my browser and I can type in, if I pull this down, you know, if I if I start up a new tab and I type in calendar, calendar pops up. If I type in keep, keep pops up right away. You know, if I type in tasks, because I've been using it more, tasks pops up right away. So I can quickly get right to the individual page that I want to get to. The other thing that's nice is in Gmail, um, I can come up here to this little nested set of dots if needed and I can click through and go right to calendar, keep, stuff like that. Uh, the other thing that's nice as well, the other way to get to these things is I have extensions. Um, so this is one of the calendar extensions. I can see what I have for the day, my agenda. It also tells me how long till my next real event. I also have in here um, a extension for my tasks. I don't use this as much. I'm probably going to get rid of it. I prefer to go to tasks over here in Gmail. Um, it just looks nicer. It works better. Um, and then for keep, once again, I have keep here, but the main way that I use keep is I either go to the full keep webpage because this works really well for me. Or the other thing that I do is I will sometimes use the little button to save a page if I'm looking at a web page and I want to take a note, I can save it over to Keep. So, very briefly, Google Calendar, things I need to show up for, either virtually or physically. These are all meetings. If it has a physical location, I try to indicate where the location is. Um, so I have conferences coming up soon. And so I have on my calendar... Um, you know, the date and time of the conference, and I have it set for the 
um, you know, the time zones so that I know where it is. And also I allow, you know, my wife can see it so she can plan for the family. So calendars, things I need to physically show up for with location if possible. Tasks, these are things that have a due date, um, but they don't have a location attached with it. So it is uh, an assignment. If it's something that's far off in the future, for me, that's typically what I have. So if it's service, I add it there. Research is generally research goals. So if I'm on a timeline for a book or have a journal article or research I have to do, I'll add it there. Um, service is generally reviews and stuff that pop up or people ask me to show up for a webinar. I'll add it there, um, you know, or, or I'll prep there. But tasks for me is the key. It's using my app on my mobile device to sort of note down, uh, take note of the things I want to do the next day and I keep it to a maximum of three things that I want to take care of. The last thing that I have is Google Keep and that's my post-it notes, it's ideas, things I want to save. And the reason why this all works now for me, and this probably will change in the future, um, the reason why it works now for me is this nice little web layout that they have built into Gmail so I can easily do things all at the same time. So once again, hopefully it helps you out. I have changed my uh, my productivity process uh, a lot in the past. I will probably continue to do so, um, but it's not really the tools that matter, it's the process involved. So hopefully that is of help to you. Uh, sorry it's longer than I expected, but I wanted to share sort of how I do things in my recent thinking. So thanks a lot. Have a great rest of your day.